Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Spectacle. Alright, let's go ahead and keep exploring here. I do have my notepad at the ready in case I need to start taking down times and locations. Because I'm not going to be able to remember otherwise. Calming Monastery. What's so calm about it? You see a large door surrounded by a damaged, uh, a water damaged mural. There is a floor of clay tiles beneath your feet. Uh, wait, there's something odd about this tile. Wait, really? That was just random chance that I was just clicking around. I didn't even notice the oddity. This tile isn't fastened and is easily lifted, revealing a keyhole beneath. Well, hot damn. There's a keyhole here with a blue trim. Okay, and there's a, I'm gonna get probably like a blue, red, yellow, green, I'm gonna guess. See a lodge door? Okay, and it's the same thing. Can you use... Ah, you actually can click these. Stick in the wrong key. This key doesn't fit. You fool. What are you, colorblind? Why, yes, I am. Uh, a locked door blocks entry, and strangely, there is no keyhole. I'm not colorblind myself. I do have a friend who is, though. Alright, well... Can't get in the bath, because we need a blue key. Let's go back to the other side here with this palace. Again, something's going to be needed for that. Let's see. Uh, Azure Palace. Door is closed, but it does not appear to be locked. You stand before a palace of stunning stonework with a small wooden door. Anything else? Well, I do appreciate it doesn't just keep telling me, like, you can't do that, you can't do that. It's also kind of like, if I click up here to this, and it's just telling me about the same thing as when I click here, I don't know if that's the best solution. It's almost like just make it maybe not clickable, but then that kind of narrows down the exploration factor of it. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good solution for that. Just a small nitpick, but whatever. Kind of comes to the territory with these games sometimes. Uh, hanging nursery. What kind of hanging are we talking about? Uh, you see a cloaked figure before you. Game saved. Let's take a look around first. A humble-sized foyer home to many exotic plants and flowers. The exquisite uh, decor suggests this was a place of great importance. Uh, let's see, same thing. See a cloaked figure before you. Anything else I can examine? Uh, up a small set of stairs, there is an open atrium ahead. I guess... Hello? Welcome to the remains of our kingdom. It's a desolate land doomed by a grease, uh, zealot. Some people pronounce it Zealot, I pronounce it Zealot. I don't care. It's spelled zeal Ot. I, I say Zealot. Deal with it. Sorry, that's just like an inside thing with my friends and I. But, uh, by agree, Zealot bent on seizing control. He's the one who sent you here. Uh, he's the one who sent you here. That charlatan is from this world and was banished to yours after an ill-fated attempt to take over our land. Well, that explains some things, but the damage had already been done. You wish to escape, but alas, my powers have weakened significantly. I dare not ask so much of one so astray, but you and I share a goal. We can work together if you'll be so kind. Is this going to be another, another, uh, would you kindly? There's an important, uh, broken instrument within these walls. A friend to the south will help you fix it. Broken instrument within these walls. A friend of the south will help you fix it. To aid you, I have hidden magic spells in the form of engravings. I trust they will be most helpful to you. Good luck. Until we meet again. And pulled a Michael Jackson in uh, remem Remember the Time. So, well, that one has a little bit more sand and spinning and, you know, pizzazz. But same thing. Just The cloak just drops. Oof. Oh, well, I'm not trying to... I'm trying to talk to the air at this point now. Okay, well, we're looking for some kind of instrument, and someone to the south will help us fix it. Lunar Fold. Large atrium with uh, finely decorated walls. And what about this one right here? It's an open doorway. And I press C button. No. Well, why is this one colored differently? That very much looks like a secret little button for me to press. Alright, alright. Solarplex. How about a suplex? Wrestler just busts out the wall, gives you a suplex. You're dead! Tiles on the floor at the far end are shaped like a sun. The door is closed. Very splendid hallway, beautifully painted throughout. 
This wall has what appears to be a door frame, but the wall is solid. Hmm. Weird tiles. No. Try to open that. It won't open. Use the sun coin. Doesn't work. Use it on the ground. Nope. Will this open? Okay. Alright, books are good. Scholar is repose. There's a large book on the table. Got info for me? This is not something you can take with you. I suppose I can use it or open it, maybe. There is a gem set into this eye carving. It does not appear to be fastened in place. Well, you know what that means. Loot! 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 You reach up and easily pluck the gem from the socket. And then the walls start to come in, and the ceiling comes crashing down, and then you're dead. All that remains of a beautiful instrument. In its current state, it is useless. A uh, broken instrument. You take the broken instrument with you. Now, what kind of instrument is it, though? You know, a, a guitar, a piano, a lute, something? I know, it would, I, I, it's clearly not a piano, but you get what I mean. What I mean. Uh, this appears to be a study for scholars to lend out books to outsiders. The books must be stored elsewhere. As your hand begins to flip the cover, or to lift the cover, the book flips itself open to a page as if it wants you to read something. Scholar's Diary. None shall hold dominion over the wild blue flame. Long imprisoned by the spectral full, full moon, as long as such curses are to blame. Broken free now of its goal. Goal is spelt wrong. Only with equal ferocity and, and sunken gale, granted from a wish can one hope to subdue. That, this is a long-winded sentence. Such a burning being, in these dark times seek well wishes under the brightest of moons to snuff out Inferno without fail. Should I write that down? <laughs> Alright, okay, fine. I, I guess we got some info. Some kind of long-winded info. Alright, well, we also got a gem. What is this? An opaque gemstone with a round front and a flat back. Got it. It's got a flat back, so this gem has no ass. Alright, well, we got a gem. Can we just, like, jam it? Jam it in here! No. We got the instrument. Maybe the instrument's gonna be kind of the first thing we, we uh, try to work with. High leg well. High leg. High G. Heavy chains are attached to the well cover. There are no levers or cranks to operate them, though. We'll just use those good old muscles and just push the thing or lift it. This room is uh, dominated by a large well, but it doesn't seem like it's for retrieving water. It's for keeping dead bodies in there. Soon I will join them. There is a mural of the phases of the moon here, with a hole in the center through which the sky can be seen. Knowing when the moon is at its brightest is probably important. Okay, and that's where the time will come into play. I mean, it's 5 in the morning, so that's not it. So we'll have to come back here later, I guess, at a different time. Um, so we'll come back. Now, moving rooms, if it's 5 o'clock right now, Half an hour for every movement, I guess. Like I said, I'm pretty sure, like, in the notes of the thing, it said, like, you would, like, learn a spell even for, like, controlling time. Just to, like, fast forward it, I guess, maybe a couple of hours. Like in Zelda or something, where you just get, like, the Ocarina of Time, and you just, like, fast forward. Now, it said that in the south, someone would assist you with, uh, fixing this instrument. Go into the hole? No. Use the broken instrument and leave it there. No. Wow, look at that. Yeah, you can actually see with different... Uh, I must. It must have a certain range of times. Some screens will look different. That is really cool. I won't be able to reach it. Nope. Thought just use like the instrument, just like scoop it towards you. So I may need to pass time randomly. Also, let's just continue to kind of look around at places at different times. We'll just see if we see different things 
you never know what might uh, be different, I suppose. Like the the pop is oh that almost made me jump fully because the sound got me more than anything. You see a falcon flying around in the area. Now it's gonna be over here because this is the falconer's retreat. I thought maybe. Uh, or maybe that just happens at high noon. It's high noon. Oh, that went away. Now, can I read this? There are words of an unfamiliar language. Yeah, but I mean, can I speak them? Open them. No, that doesn't do anything. And that still is useless. So that bug is randomly there. Can I take the foot? There's nothing to take here. Use the foot. No. I feel like... Oh, wait, check that out. I kind of... You know what? My brain... That's... Okay. Depending on the time of day, different doors will be open. It's... Well, it's 5 o'clock now. This is barely going to be open much longer. Uh, sources is Spiral. Spiral staircase leading up to the second floor. There's a sp spandrel beneath. A spandrel? What's a spandrel? These steps lead up, and there is a banger hanging here that is loosely hung. Aha, you grip the banner and pull it down easily. Yeah, but we can't read this. We're illiterate. At least in this language. Okay, you're not going to comment about the fact that there's something written there? The rod holding up the banner isn't fixed to the wall either. Can I take this? Wow, you take the rod with you. There's nothing to take. Well, there's definitely something to take, but apparently it doesn't let us. Oh, there we go. The steps lead up and there is strange writing on the wall. Alright, well, there's a small wooden door here. Let's kick the door down. You open the small door, revealing a storage space beneath the stairs. It's Harry Potter's room. Actually, this is probably a little too spacious to be uh, Harry Potter's room. It needs to be smaller. There's a stone tablet in the crawl space. Please let it, like, magically give me the powers to read this shit. Take the stone tablet. It appears to be a Rosetta Stone. A tablet covered in various symbols used to decipher magical text written in a long dead language. Alright. Well, let's use the Rosetta Stone on this. You read the text. Tired of manual labor, a commoner sought to create his own simple spell. Reflect on the word and you will know its purpose. Nyak! Which is clearly chain backwards. You have learned to spell Nyak. It's almost like a like the start of a really bad seas. Nyakchu! This spell has a specific purpose, but you must figure that out. You sh shout all you want. It's not accomplishing anything. Cast. The spell has no effect. That's cool. Oh, wait. But you still have to click on something for it to cast. It doesn't just, like, cast outright. Huh. Okay, well. Nowhere to go but up. What is this? Yachna Gaul. It might, maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it didn't mispronounce Gaul. If that is what that is, then I don't know what that word means. This appears to be a ritualistic hall with a bonfire, perhaps used to sacrifice material goods in exchange for knowledge from the gods. And by material goods, I mean people. So hop on in. The fire's warm. Too warm. Oh god, hot. It's burning. It's also a blue flame. Oh my god, speaking of blue flame! The fire blazes as a menacing, fiery figure forms in front of you. Let's examine it. The apparition is still, but could strike if any sudden movements are made. You can feel its heat from across the room. Oh my god! In an instant, the fiery creature engulfs you in flames that both burn or that burn both your body and soul to nothing. 
You're dead. Your adventure has come to a tragic end. Trusty! Fatality. Okay, so that don't work. Um... The, the book said something about being able to vanquish something. Take my eye gem, no? Dun, 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 dun. Can you fix my broken instrument? Give him the Rosetta Stone. Take my rod! Alright, that won't work. I'm gonna have to read that book again to figure out, um... What the heck it possibly meant. Okay, so this thing up here uh, is no good. Can I examine anything else? Wait, there's a grate here to the room below. Nothing but air could fit through, this, through the small gaps. Just to make sure that this... Yeah, same principle. You can't move on until you deal with the threat. Okay, that's fine. And there's nothing else in here, so we will come back later. And now the door is like closed on us. Now the question is... You think maybe midnight? Let's try midnight. It's full on midnight, maybe... Maybe chains? Oh, chains! Chains! Uh, are attached to the wall and all this crazy. Chain. To reverse the chains. No? Bingo! With the magic word, you command the chains to rise, opening the well. And again, I assumed it had to be perfectly, um... Or maybe not. Wait, depending on the way the moon is going there... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the... No, but it has to be at night. It's only open at night. I'm just gonna assume that I did that correctly. The well cover is open. Well, I mean... I guess Geronimo. You leap into the well and realize that it is bottomless. You fall forever. I did that to myself. Maybe I gotta throw a coin in. No! Will the time change? Well, maybe it, it'll hold. Either way, let's try using the moon coin. Alright. Uh, there's that other spell we can go read. Maybe we need to just go do that. Or use the opposite coin. Get in the well. There's a mule, the phase is here. Knowing when the moon is bright is probably important. Because, yeah, wait a minute. I think it's the opposite of what I need. I'm, uh, I'm not at the right time right now. This is all darkened. It needs to be getting brighter. What happens if I use the spell again? The spell has no effect. So I don't know if I can change that anymore, but that's fine. Alright, that isn't what it's for. So, I may need to come back at a different time. Let's see, what does it look like now? I don't I don't wanna go I wanna go move that way. I don't see the moon. Now this is just... Eh, 3.30, so I think it's... It's gotta be maybe earlier in the night. Maybe a little before midnight. That don't, that doesn't look like it at all. Yeah, see, now the sun's starting to come out, so... If the sun is already coming up around 5.30, then the moon must be out before midnight somewhere, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, for now, let's go ahead and go get... Oh, it's closed anyways. Yeah, so... You eventually kind of get cut off regardless, so that kind of helps narrow down the timing of it. Still have not found that friend. This is the one where it says... Maybe I need to figure out the time from out here? The text that one time did say that I should uh, note the thing there because of its importance. Again, 8 o'clock, but... Is that Falconer just kind of random? Hmm. Not sure. 
compass, but now we can at least read this. Let's see if this gives us any clue about where we need to go next. You read the text, time passes too slowly for some, so a clever sort devised a method for forwarding time. With a shout of the magic word SAF, one can jump forward through time and achieve their goals sooner. You learn the spell SAF. Reverse it, it's fast? Almost for like fast? For fast time? Why? If it was to SAF, then I would definitely say that's what it was doing, but I don't know. Maybe it's salty as fuck. You just start casting this shit when you're just like, I'm so fucking salty! Oh shit, I forgot that was actually gonna pass time. Now I'm really salty about it. Ah! I wonder if... Do you think there's any time when this will be safer? Let's see. Let's see if I... That is so cool. I really like that. It's, it's cool. Everything just actually, like, adjusts. Dude, I could just pass so many days. But it doesn't seem to be actually doing me any good in terms of, uh... Like, getting to this. But it's almost like... I honestly could kind of cast... Does it fast forward at a set interval? Or does it go to fixed time points? It looks like it's just six hours forward outright. So you have to manage... Half hour time... Uh, half hour intervals by actually, like, moving from screen to screen. But then you can jump fast with, like with this. And it's almost like, it kind of gives you like four main times of the day. Which I suppose is, is probably enough. I really need a blue key. I need to be able to get in there. I'm wondering, if I fast, let me fast forward time here. I'm trying to see if there's anything that pops up on here. Nah, there's nothing really here. Well, we're a little over 20 minutes here, so we'll go ahead and pause this one here. Uh, in the next video, we'll, see, we'll we'll try messing around a bit with this spell. We'll kind of fast forward in some of the different screens and see if maybe, maybe someone will pop up uh, at a certain time in only one area. And maybe we'll find something that we can uh, use to progress forward, but we'll do that in the next part. So, I'll see you guys then.